Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world and depending on when you get to see this video. Anyway, guys, I am not the only one. I am not the only one that this thing has happened to. If it has happened to you, I pray that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit reveals it to you. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that God will open people's eyes, that he will reveal it to every single person who is actually going through the same thing that I am going through. I pray that God will reveal it to you because once he reveals it to you, at least you know and then you will know how to deal with the situation. Mm -hmm. He will give you knowledge on how to deal with the situation going forward. Mm, these things never ever happen in isolation. They always happen to plenty of people. So if it's happening to you, if it has happened to you, mm, when God gives you the understanding, please share it with us so that we will all know what to do. In other news, for those people who normally come around all hours, the ones that come to attack me, the ones who undertake me, who attack me under the cover of darkness, thinking that I will not know. I know exactly who you are. When I am ready, I will confront you. Yes, when I am ready, I will confront you because I know exactly who you are. Hmm? You cannot hide in the shadows. You cannot hide in the shadows. So when I'm ready to confront you, I will confront you and you will tell me exactly what you did to me. You will. When I am ready, I will confront you. When the time is right, I will confront you and you will tell me exactly what I need to know. You will tell me everything that you have done to me. You will. If you don't believe me, go and ask other people. If you don't believe me, go and ask other people if you don't believe I am that kind of person. If I say that somebody will tell me the truth that I want to know, they will. It doesn't matter how many years it takes. Mm? It might take years, it might take days, it might take months, hours, seconds, whatever. But me, if I say that somebody will tell me the truth that I want to know, they will. Trust me on that one. That is the kind of person I am. As for the people who skylark, the gaslighters, the ones that I know, the ones that I know, I recognize their voices. Even if I don't recognize their voice, I pray to God and God will reveal it to me. He can reveal things to you in any way at all that he likes. He can reveal it through a video, through music, books, whatever. When God wants to reveal the truth to you, you will know it. And to all of my Spartans, the ones that have been on this journey with me from the beginning, I always said from the beginning that God will reveal whatever he wants us to know in a way that when we see the truth, we will know the truth and we will accept it. The Bible says that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. This is the word of God that I'm standing on. I, Anu Sana, I want to know the truth because I believe that the truth sets you free from whatever it is that is ailing you, from whatever problems you have. And from those people who feel that they will not confess, the people who feel that they will be able to live a lie till the end of their days, you are just deceiving yourself. You are just deceiving yourself. That truth that I want to know, you will tell me. You will. You will tell me, trust me on that one. So anyway, this is my hot water bottle. I am going back to bed, mm, to sleep. As for sleep, I don't have a problem sleeping anymore. I sleep very, very fine. If you're somebody that has a problem sleeping, I would suggest you listen to Psalm 23 and Psalm 91. Listen to it before you go to bed. You will sleep like a baby. Apart from that, there's so many prayers on YouTube for anybody that has a problem sleeping. Just listen to any of the sleep prayers, prayers for sleep, or read your Bible. You will sleep like a baby. Well, thank you very much. Thank you to all of my spotters. I say it again. 
I am not the only one. I am not the only one that this thing has happened to. If you ask me why it happens, it happens because real life story is more interesting than any story that people can make up. That is why they just target people's lives. It's not something that started today. They have been doing it for centuries. It's something that people have been doing for centuries. There are some people who even have respect. They will wait until the person dies before they start using their life stories to make money off the person's head. But in this day and age, people don't care. They target the kind of people who, I don't know, maybe people who you would call naive, you know, people who are just going about their business, living their life because they think, okay, they will never ever find out until maybe by the grace of God, God will just, you know, open your eyes and you will stumble upon, you will stumble upon your truth and your life story, maybe in a book, in a song, on television. Why? Because the, some people just don't want to take the time, you know, to just use their creativity. So they will just target somebody's life and then start using the person's story to make money. It is not right. Especially if the person is not benefiting from what you're doing. Huh? So I say it again. If it is happening to you, if it has happened to you, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you get to find out about it because I know that there are a lot of people out there. When they find out what has been happening to them, they will take action. It is not everybody whose hands are tied behind the back. Hmm? Don't underestimate people. Don't underestimate people. Hmm? Stop underestimating people. Everything, everything is not about money. Everything is not. A, stop underestimating people. Hmm? When the everyday man stands up and decides to take action, you will be surprised. Anyway, I have said my own. Oh no, I come in peace. I am not the only person that it is happening to. They love doing it because they love to use people's story. Hmm? Because real life story is sweeter than anything that they can make up. I have said my own. God has changed my name to Akaigo. This time around, I don't worry about anything at all. I surrender everything to Abba Father. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I ask the Holy Ghost to take control.